as the little fishy swam closer to the shipwreck, he heard a strange, whispery voice. <coughs> then an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. It's life. Stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said, I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> the vampire squid. Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? I, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're gonna need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, right, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. A shipwreck. And strange whispery noises, too. Just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Come in, Peso. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. such thing as sea ghosts. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody in here? Quasi? Is that you? <laughs> oh, phew! You're not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah! there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Flappity flippers! Hey, sir! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy! I'm coming for you, matey! I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. 
Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. <laughs> I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. <laughs> I don't see anything. Behind! In front! Just in turn! Captain! Captain, I, I can't hear you! Come in, Quasi! Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you hear some wonder. What? Who's there? Show yourself! Wow! <laughs> gotcha this time! <laughs> yeah! A sea ghost! <laughs> Did you have to do that? Well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You... you didn't? It's just... I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too. But sea ghosts are only make-believe, aren't they? The sea ghost? <laughs> Barnacles. I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with them. Captain, it snuck up behind me and listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out, fast. This way, hurry. <laughs> The sea ghost strikes again! Let go! I've got you! I've got you! It's got me! This way! Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? <laughs> Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um... Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long armed squid. A long armed squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes, I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, uh, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, my friends. Did you find... Wait. You forgot your medical bag. Ah, ghost. Oh, vampire. Ah, squids. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, this spyglass is no good. 
It's supposed to help me see things far away, but I can't make out what that big shape is. Besides, we're so far down, it's dark as night. Good thing the octoscope can see in the dark. Can you give us a better picture of what's out there, Dashy? Aye, aye, Captain. It looks like a ship of some kind. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Unless I miss me guess, that's the pirate shipwreck of Calico Jack himself! Calico, Calico who? Calico Jack. He was me grandfather and the finest cat pirate ever to roam the seven seas. And he had a golden spyglass. The spyglass was passed down from one member of me family to the next. But before it could pass down to me, Calico Jack's ship sank in the North Atlantic Ocean. And that golden spyglass sank with it. The North Atlantic Ocean? But that's where we are now. Quasi, do you really think that could be the pirate ship of Calico Jack out there? Hi, Captain. Then let's go and investigate. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a mysterious ship out there that may have belonged to Quasi's grandfather, Calico Jack. Our mission is to explore the shipwreck and help Quasi find his grandfather's spyglass. Peso, Dashy, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Can't you go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Oh. Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside. Yeah! Huh? Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi? Uh, I wonder where that spyglass might be. Yow! Spiky sea urchins! be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, dagnabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slimy old territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's, and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys. Let him have it! Give me two 
two seconds, and I promise I'll be... And then we ran in, and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. Um. My grandfather spyglass. At last. and more, eh? Quasi! Yeah, I finally had me grandfather's spyglass, till this wooden beam fell down and trapped me. I can't move it without bringing the whole ship down. Didn't we warn you to clear out of here and never come back? Ah, you caught me, slime eel. I suppose you're gonna slime me again. Well, go ahead. That's it. You're right. Ahem. Go ahead. Slime him. I dare you. What? But... My pleasure. You call that sliming someone? Huh. You missed him. Yeah, well, I can't see, remember? Captain, what are you... The slime will make Quasi's tail slippery, and we can pull him loose. Try a little lower next time. Peso, what are you saying? We... Just a little lower. You asked for it. Great work, Slime Eel. Let's pull. I'm free. Thanks, matey. And thanks, Slime Eel. At last, me grandfather's spyglass. And it's all mine. There's all kinds of plants and animals in there. Looks like this spyglass has become home to many different creatures, Quasi. <sighs> Aye. Back for more, eh? Wait, just a minute. This spyglass has always been passed down in my family. But now, I'm passing it on to you and these little creatures. Oh, that's mighty kind of you, I'm sure. Take good care of it. Yeah, we will. And, um, <laughs> sorry about the slime. Now, go on, get out of here. And after all this time, I finally had the spyglass in my own paws. But when I saw those creatures, I had to put it back. Meow. Quasi, you did the right thing. And you can tell everyone you were the one to discover Calico Jack's shipwreck. Besides, it's not like you didn't get any souvenirs at all. Huh? Here.
Reporting for my training exercise, Captain. Very good, Peso. The guppy is ready, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Now, let's go over the practice plan one more time. First, I pilot the guppy through the twilight zone all the way down into the midnight zone. Aye. The darkest place on Earth. A place so deep that the sun can't shine there. I know. It's always nighttime in the midnight zone. But you can hit that button to turn on the super bright lights. Right. Then, after I get to the midnight zone, I land on the seabed and come right back up. As fast as I can. You get to go to the midnight zone by yourself. Captain, I volunteer to go on this training exercise with it. Peso has to do this alone, Quasi. I have to learn to make the trip to the Midnight Zone by myself so that I can help the animals who live there. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Well, watch out for the vampire squid while you're down there. The vampire squid? What's that? A creature of the Midnight Zone, that's for sure. He wears a big cape covered in sharp spikes. His eyes glow in the dark. He squirts a horrible slime. And he lives in a haunted castle in the deepest, darkest part of the Midnight Zone. Don't worry, Peso. There are a lot of strange creatures down there, but no haunted castles. Now, let's begin. Ready, Captain. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Please. You got it, Peso. Barnacles to Peso. Peso here. You're doing great. Just keep those flippers steady on the helm. Flippers steady, Captain. It's really dark now. I'm not even close to the bottom. Oh, that's better. <gasps> What's that sound? All I have to do is touch down at the bottom and come back up as fast as I can. That sound again. I made it by myself, all alone. All right, time to go. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, it hurts. Hurts? Are, are you hurt? <laughs> yes, and nobody cares. Oh. I care. Hold on. Peso to Octopod. Peso to Octopod. I found a creature in the Midnight Zone who needs help. Repeat, I found... Creature. Midnight Zone. Help. Help? Octopod to Peso. Come in, Peso. Sorry, Captain. Sometimes the radio doesn't work very well way down in the Midnight Zone. Hmm. Keep trying, Dashy. Medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. What seems to be the problem? Um, excuse me. Oh. Ah! Wait, don't be afraid. I'm here to help. Captain, I've lost contact with Peso. He could need our help. Wazi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost contact with Peso in the Midnight Zone. Captain, I'm ready to go after him. Right. The Duck B is ready to go. Please, I can help you feel better. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick. Really? Yes. Oh my, your eyes glow in the dark. Those aren't my eyes. Those are just a couple of lights I have on the top of my head. I can turn them off when I want to. Oh. 
So those are your eyes. Well, it helps to have big eyes when you need to see in the dark. Oh! oh, oh Where does it hurt? Oh, it's one of my spikes. Uh, ow! Ow! Spikes? I don't see any spikes. Just like the vampire squid. It feels like it's near the top. See it? I see it. It looks like it's poking you. Ow! So, do you think you can help me? Yes. I have just the thing to make it as good as new. <laughs> what are you going to do with those things? They're just tweezers. I'll use them to straighten out the spike. Oh, no, it'll hurt even more. I promise I'll be very gentle. <laughs> promise? Promise. Huh? Hey, so! <laughs> Are you all right? Ah, uh, I'm fine. Never better. Are you all right? I think I was just slimed by the, the vampire squid. The vampire squid? A vast, a trail of slime. Stand back. I'll go after him. Wait, he's hurt. He needs our help. Quasi, Quasi, are you okay? Quasi, can you hear me? There's no answer, Tweak. I need to go after them. I'll get the Duck D ready, Cap. <laughs> What's that? That's the vampire squid. Yow! Stay back. He's hurt. He's easily frightened, so please. Follow me and stay quiet and calm. All right, matey. But I'm ready to pounce if I have to. Don't be afraid. No surprises this time. <laughs> Promise? Promise. Peso! Quasi! <laughs> 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 Are you two all right? We've been slimed by a vampire squid. I've got to help him. He's hurt. Captain, the vampire squid is easily scared. It'll be much better if I go after him by myself. All right. Peso, we're here if you need us. <laughs> Please, don't swim away. It's just me, Peso. <laughs> I'm too tired to move, and my spike hurts more than ever. You've had quite a scare. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! My spike! It, it feels better! Good as new. You fixed it! You're amazing! <laughs> Just doing my job. Here's a sticker for being such a brave patient. Would you like to meet my friends now? I don't know. They're not as scary as they seem, I promise. Come on. Okay. Captain Barnacles, Quasi, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, the Vampire Squid. Where's your cape covered in spikes? You mean this? Oh, yeah, that. This is not a cape. It's a webbing between my tentacles, and it helps me hide when I'm scared. <gasps> and when I'm really scared... Oh, <laughs> oh we know! You, you slime. slime! Oops, uh, sorry, Octonauts. I got a little carried away. Anyway, thank you for fixing my spy. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. Farewell! That was a lot more than a training exercise today, Peso. Good work. Just doing my job, Captain. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick. Even if it does mean getting slimed. <laughs> Where is it? I have. 
of our next mission. The Octomap shows that we're here. In the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, yes. Well, I have my own map of these waters. Excellent, Quasi. A good map helps you to get to places you've never been. Yes, and a secret map helps you get to places you didn't know were there. Hmm. Where did you find it? I dug it up on Catspaw Island back in me pirate days. Yaha! Hmm. This map is very old. Aye, and this map has a tale to tell, Professor. Listen, me hearties. A proud ship once sailed across these waters. The ship carried a precious golden jar. Then there came a terrible storm, and the ship sank to the bottom of the sea. There it lay until a scary sea monster made the wreck his home. He guards the golden jar to this very day. If you go looking for it, mateys, you must beware of the eight-headed sea monster, for he'll challenge anyone who comes too close. Yow! <clears throat> There's no shipwreck or um, sea monster on the Octomap. Pirates don't put their secrets on anybody else's maps. In fact, there are many things under the sea that aren't on anyone's map yet. And the Octonauts are out to find them. Who's with me? Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find out if there's any truth to Quasi's old map. I'd like to photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashy, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashy, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Oh. We're ready to test the grabber. Activating Grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. And it's a perfect monster grabber. You're the monster grabber? Don't worry, Peso. Right, let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. The map says there should be a big rock archway up ahead. Check. Go under it and to the left. Coming up on some rocks, Quasi. Which way now? Um, go around the biggest rock and to the right. No, no, the left. We should be getting close now. Closer. Closer. Up ahead, I think I see the shipwreck. It's just some rocks. Quasi, we found your shipwreck. Oh, protect us from the sea monster, Captain. Dashy, Peso, we'll look for that golden jar. Yow! <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! <gasps> If I were a sea monster, where would I hide? He's got eight heads, so he must be pretty clever. That 
That looks like a good hiding place. Octonauts, over here! <gasps> Captain, what is it? Look! The golden jar that was on your map, Quasi. This will make a beautiful photo. Aye, matey, but don't get too close. Captain, the sea monster could be hiding behind that golden jar. Oh, no. Then I'll pull it out very carefully. Over a bit, down a little. Gotcha. Yeah, no monster there. Stand back. I'll do a monster check. Yeah, a sea monster couldn't fit in there. Where is that sea monster? This map is no help, no help at all. Peso, we may have to face the worst. The worst? There's no sea monster here. Oh, phew. <gasps> Arr, this is supposed to be a sea monster map. <gasps> oh, wow. What's the point of having a sea monster map if there's no real sea monster to go with it? Quasi, behind you. Yeah! Ah! Found you, sea monster. You win. That was a fun game of hide and seek. Game? Wait. You're supposed to have eight heads. I think you found an octopus, Quasi. Yes, I'm an octopus, all right. Well, you sure acted like a sea monster. You disappeared like magic when I chased you. I'll show you my tricks. <laughs> You'll want to take my picture before and after. Hey! Where'd you go? I can change my colors. That makes it easier to hide. What's this? <laughs> and I can squeeze myself into oh so small spaces. How'd you do that? It's easy when you don't have any bones. You really are the king of hide and seek. <laughs> Even if you're not a proper sea monster. Well, if you hadn't gone looking for a sea monster, you wouldn't have found me. How did you find me? Look, there you are. Oh, time for a new map. <laughs> you're right there, matey. There. What do you think? Perfect. Thanks. That's more like it. Hi. This is a real map of the place. Now it's my turn to hide. I'll come to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming. Ready or not? Good work, Tweak. The rover cam is working perfectly. Now we can send it in to film the sea creatures living in all that seaweed. I wouldn't send anything in there if I were you, matey. Or you may never see it again. Things disappear in this part of the ocean. 
That's why we pirates call it the Sea of Vanishing Ships. They say it's the sea monsters that made them disappear. Slimy monsters of seaweed with long stringy fingers who like to take what's not theirs. Ow! See what I mean? Oh, that's no monster. It's a loggerhead sea turtle. They're great navigators, so they can find their way through anything. Tweak, can you follow it with the rover cam? You got it, Shellington. Ooh, where did he go? Looks like it's the sea of vanishing ships and sea turtles, too. Shaking. I'm picking up some underwater tremors. We've lost contact, Cap. Now it's the sea of vanishing rover cams. The rover cam hasn't vanished, Quasi, but the shaking must have damaged it. We gotta find it, Cap. I'm going in. You're not going in alone, Tweak. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going into that seaweedy mess to find Tweak's rover cam. The driving could get tricky in there. We'll take the Gup X. You got it, Cap. Tweak, Peso, and Quasi, you're with me. We'll be the first to go into the sea of vanishing ships and come back out again. If we're lucky. Shiver, whiskers, there's a jungle out there. I hope it's not the sea of vanishing octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. We won't get lost in here. With the Gubex's mapping system, we can always find our way back to the octopod. This is where we lost contact with the rover camp. Any sign of it, Tweak? Nope, nothing yet, Cap. <gasps> There's that sea turtle again. The rover cam was following him when it broke. Let's ask if he's seen it. Yeah, he disappeared again. <gasps> Over there. Let's try and catch up with him. There he goes. Here he goes. Now, which way did he go? Gravity oh, flippers, another tremor. Hold on, everyone. Yeah. Oh. The X is breaking up. Oh. Oh. Tweak, are you all right? I'm fine. But all that shaking split up the Gup X. We've lost the glider and the octoski. And the captain and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap? Quasi? Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken too. Tweak? Peso? Are you all right? Hmm. We've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean. It's vanished. No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the gub connector. Gub connector? I designed the gub X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the gub connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the gub X back together. Along with the captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. Lost its slimy seaweed. We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. I can't. Huh? I'm stuck, very possibly forever. Oh! <gasps> the loggerhead sea turtle. 
The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Oh, wish I could. We loggerhead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. Then we'll have to be extra careful. Come on, Quasi. One, two, three, lift! Lift! I'll have this gub connector fixed faster and you can see a bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Number two, spanner, please. Number five, screwdriver. Number three, carrot! Ooh. What's that? The slimy seaweed monster, just like in Quasi's story. Hold on, that's not a monster. It's our rover cam. I'll be right back, Tweak. A week? Nah, it won't take a week. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Come back here, you! Ah, that should do it. The gub connector's working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh oh. Tweak! Come in, Tweak! Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere. And neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. Yeah! The gub's moving all by itself. Tweak must have repaired the gub connector. If we follow the glider, we'll find our way back. Lenny, are you all right? I suppose so, thanks to my extra hard shell. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my flipper! It hurts from being wedged in those rocks. I can't swim in this condition. You'll just have to leave me here, I suppose. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You need to see our medic, Peso. Come on, we'll carry you. Hello, Tweak! Hello! Where are you? Whoa! Flappity flippers, the octo ski! Tweak fixed the gub connector. Wait for us! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Hey, so you found my rover cam. Thanks. You're welcome. And there's the rest of the gub X, right on schedule. Look, it's Captain Barnacles and Quasi. And the Luggerhead Sea Turtle is with them. Oh no, he's hurt. This flipper split should do the trick. Oh, it feels much better. Thanks. I guess things are looking up after all. Lenny's on the mend, the rover cam is back, and the Gup X is all in one piece. Now, we just have to find our way back to the Octopod. Um, Cap, I fixed up the gub connector, but I'm afraid the mapping system still doesn't work. How will we find our way out of here? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll spend the rest of our days lost in the sea of vanishing ships. Lost? Oh, I never get lost. We loggerheads have a great sense of direction. I travel in and out of here all the time. You don't get confused in all this murky seaweed? Not a bit. <laughs> and now that you've fixed my flipper, I'm ready to swim. Then lead the way, Lenny. Don't mind if I do. Incredible! You've led us straight back to the octopod. Thanks, Lenny. Aye, Lenny. You're right. He vanished. Boo! Ah! Oh. <laughs> 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 Hmm. 
Vegemals. Captain, this outside, I saw a. What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big. I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like... Whoa! Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale, but whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast. Strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-coloured reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. Then we'd better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. <gasps> ah! Oh! <sighs> There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> <gasps> this is no reef. <laughs> Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. <laughs> what? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. 
No, I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus. Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this well to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. A school of squid. We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more, and finished. Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect! Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. 
And best of all, this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's gonna be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yaha! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp uh, spiders? <laughs> Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Fire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of them. Oh, that's strange. What? Who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <laughs> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight legs! Just like a... Sp Spider! No! <laughs> You're not gonna believe what I saw back there! It was creepy! It was crawly! It was... it was this big! No! It was bigger than that! It was huge! <sighs> what was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Yeah! Yeah! This is the spider! A 
Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz would be alive. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochy, goochy, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A oh, goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Those little lights are up ahead. 
Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashie, put us in reverse and pull away. I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh! Switch to steering wheel mode now. Must break free. Oh, oh dear. Ow! What? Shiver me whiskers. Lappity flippers. It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty-bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. I grab it, I keep it. You weird looking squid. Daddy, stand the octo alert. Oh. Octonauts, to the HQ. Any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Crush the octopod! Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweak? I've got just the thing, Cap. Wearing this tentacle suit, Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. <laughs> Twist to the side. <laughs> now down. That's it. Aha! You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor. Ugh, oh my! I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be in it. Ah! <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the Squid Playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. <laughs> ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. 
Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid... Then they might take a bite out of the octopod, too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked on to us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry, we'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, hey! This is fun. Everyone, pull up! Up, 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 up. Now, back down! Oh, down! They're still chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up for air. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. <laughs> Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses, I can do it. I'll just brace myself. Oh. And give it a good swan. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> Juniper and the vegetables are in there. Ah, they're sinking fast. We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! <laughs> it's too dark. I can't see the pod. I see it! I see it! You're pulling me, Paul. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh-oh, down, go down. Everyone, dive. Oh, no, not that way, the other way. Bring the cups around. Hurry, they're heading for some sharp rocks. You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I got it. Oh, I got it. Octonauts, pull up. Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangled Tentacles begins now. Now that all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. A little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Easy now. Watch the hooks, matey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <gasps> 
Oh, me, oh, my. Today's the big day. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Tweak has something very exciting planned for us today. That's right. It's time for the first ever inspection of the Gub X. Inspection? What kind of inspection? We're gonna make sure that every part of the Gup X is working the way it should. I've got a whole checklist of things to test out. Uh, uh, that doesn't sound very exciting. It is when you do it in the Midnight Zone, Quasi. The Midnight Zone? Now you're talking! The Midnight Zone is the deepest part of the ocean and can be very dangerous. If the Gup X works down there, it'll work anywhere. Exactly. Now, why don't we get the show on the road? Octonauts, let's do this. Okay, first things first. Let's test out the suction tires. Everyone hold on. Isn't there a, a safer way to check the suction tires? Nope. Suction tires, check. We're now entering the midnight zone. Automatic headlights? Check. Let's test the backup lights. Flip that switch, will you, Cap? Uh-huh. And back on again. Whoa! Uh. <laughs> wow! Shiver me whiskers! Hydrothermal vents. Captain, it looks like you had a rough landing. Everything okay down there? We're fine, Dashy, but take a look at this. Gup cameras, check. Jumping jellyfish. The black smoke coming out of those hydrothermal vents is actually really hot water. Hot enough to melt the gup. Be careful, Captain. Thanks, Shellington. <sighs> that was a close one, Tweak. How's the Gup X doing? Uh, engines are still running. Computer is online. Super tough outer shell is handling the heat just fine. Good. Let's continue the inspection away from these hydrothermal vents. Okay, Cap, activate the glider. Glider, check. Aha! Octo skis working too, Tweet. What? What's the matter, matey? You look like you've just seen a sea ghost. <sighs> Must be my imagination. Come on, Quasi. We'd better get back inside. Come on, Tweak. What was out there? Well, I know it sounds crazy, but I could have sworn I saw something white and furry climbing around on the gut. White? Furry? Oh, mateys. There's only one thing it could be. A sea yeti. Half fish, half shaggy white beast. The sea yeti lurks in the darkest depths of the midnight zone. But you'll always smell it before you see it. A sea yeti's foul breath smells like rotten eggs and is strong enough to knock out the mightiest pirate. Now that you mention it, it does smell sort of funny in here. Hmm. Note to self, replace the air freshener. Well, see Yeti or no see Yeti, we'd better finish the inspection. There's just one more thing on my checklist, Cap. The hot cocoa machine. <laughs> well? Oh, check. That does it. The Gupex is in total and complete 100% work in order. Huh? Hmm. Sounds like we have a stowaway. Ooh, smells like it, too. <gasps> Yow! The Sea Yeti's got me! Oh! <laughs> I am not a Sea Yeti. I am a Yeti Crab. And my name is Klaus. <laughs> a Yeti Crab? Whatever you are, matey, you don't smell too good. Sort of like rotten eggs. <gasps> Yeah, 
that is a smell from the hydrothermal vents where I live. <laughs> oh, smells delicious. <laughs> Phew, you live near the hydrothermal vents. Oh, aren't they very hot and dangerous? Not for a yeti crab. Uh, I use the hairs on my arms to catch tiny bits of food coming out of the vents. <laughs> but mm, there is nothing to eat inside this rock, and I am also hungry. This isn't a rock. It's our ship. Your ship? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> we yeti crabs are blind. <laughs> I cannot see a thing. In that case, Klaus, you'd better let us take you back home. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. It is almost my dinner time. <laughs> All right, Octonauts. Back to the hydrothermal vents. <laughs> Tweak, the brakes are out. I can't stop the ship. Must have done some damage when he was looking for food in the vent. Well, uh, I might have snipped a few things in there. Captain, if we don't stop the gub, we're going to crash into the hydrothermal vents. There's no room to turn the gub around. Cap, it looks like the problem is a disconnected wire behind the main control panel. Can you reconnect it, Tweak? Sure thing, Cap. There's just one small problem. The main control panel can only be reached from the outside. The panel should be right over here. Let's take it nice and easy. Yep, we've reached the control panel. Good, now hurry. Bingo! Now I just need to reconnect the red wires. Any luck, Tweak? I'm trying, Cap, but I just can't reach the wires. Oh, oh, it's hopeless. My home will be destroyed for sure. I will never eat again. <laughs> Don't worry, Klaus. We'll think of something, won't we? Klaus, there's only one person the right size for the job. <laughs> Me, of course. <laughs> and I even know a shortcut. Klaus! Oh, I have come to help save my home, yeah? Oh, and your ship. Oh. All right. All you have to do is reconnect the red wires. Oh, with my long arms and crabby claws, that should be easy. <laughs> oh, careful. The red wire, not the blue one. Oops, I'm sorry. I cannot see you, remember? <laughs> Captain, look! Tweak, you've got to hurry up! Okay, left a bit. No, right a bit. Captain, we're going to crash in five... No, don't cut the wire! Four! Whoops! Three! Come on, mateys! Two! Done, Captain. Oh, me or oh mine? Yeah, we did it! Ha! Way to go, little fella! Oh, smells like home! And just in time for dinner! Oh. <laughs> so tasty, yeah? Thank you for all the ride! And thank you for all your help, Klaus. Goodbye. Mm. And goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Good work today, Octonauts. The Yeti Crab is back home, the hydrothermal vents are safe. And the Gubex is in ship shape. There's just one thing left. Ah, oh, what's that, matey? Is there anything we can do about this smell? Hey, so. Uh. <laughs> Quasi? Wow, I've never seen a moon like this. Tis known as a pirate's moon, 
and happens but once every 100 years. Shiver me, whiskers, the flying swords! Flying swords? Aye. According to legend, tis only on the night of the rare pirate moon when cold ocean waters turn warm that ye may be lucky enough to see the flying swords. They're a sign, me hearties, that you are near a sunken pirate ship where X marks the spot of the greatest treasure ye could ever hope to find. The sword of the Pirate King! But any pirate who hopes to take it as his own must be brave indeed, because the sword of the Pirate King is guarded by three magical flying swords. Me granddad always wanted to find that treasure. Alas, he never had the chance. But now I do! Arr, are we going to look for the Pirate King's sword, matey? Not we, Peso. Tis a mission I need to go on alone. For the honor of me granddad, Calico Jack. I understand. Good luck, Quasi. We'll follow your progress from the octopod. <laughs> A sunken ship. This could be it. Well done, Quasi. Keep us posted. I'm going after that sword, me hearties. <laughs> These freezing waters are shivering me whiskers. Oh, what a glorious ship! The Pirate King! The sword is as good as mine! Strange. The water just got warmer. This is definitely it! Quasi! Come in, Quasi! We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the guppe with me. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap. Quasi to Octopod. Come here, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King's sword to find. <laughs> OK, now. Where's that X that marks the spot? <gasps> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Oh, the last one. Stand aside, you scurvy sword. Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi! <gasps> it's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead! One that could only have come off a pirate ship! But then, where's Quasi? Ha-ha! <laughs> How ran it! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Hey, you're a swordfish! 
Of course I'm a swordfish. What did you think I was? A magic flying sword? The only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you. The light of the pirate moon made it look like it. Do I care what it looked like? No! What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone! <laughs> I don't want your food, matey. I want the sword of the pirate king. And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates. And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you will think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast, slashing at our food, and defending ourselves. Aha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. Wow! Oh. Oh. Oh no, you don't! Guess I'm just too quick for you fishies. <laughs> we'll see about that! <laughs> Come and get me! Just a regular sword fish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now let's get you out of there. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Sword is bruised. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thank you, my friend. And thank you for saving our fellow fish's life. It was nothing. You're as brave as a swordfish, and not bad with a sword either. Anything we can do in return, you just let us know. Ah, all I want is what I came here for. The sword of the pirate king. Huh? Oh. You must have seen it. It's here somewhere. X marks the spot. What is an X? What is a mark? What is a spurt? You swordfish aren't the magical guardians the legend told of. So maybe there's no sword of the pirate king either. Come on, Quasi. Don't give up now. Hold on. X marks the spot. Mateys, I'm going to need your help. The sword of the Pirate King! Wow! If only me granddad could be here to see it! What's our position, Dashie? Just approaching the eastern coast of Australia, Captain. Australia? I've heard a tale or two about the strange beasties that live there, me hearties. 
Actually, Quaz is right. Many of the creatures in Australia are found nowhere else in the world. Hold on, everyone. Is everyone okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, Captain. Yes, I think so. Aye, aye, Captain. Just practicing my tumbles. Dashie, what just happened? Well, we were passing this river, Captain. There's been a lot of rain in this area, and all the extra water caused the river to flood. It's gushing out here into the ocean much faster than usual. And it's sweeping the river creatures out with it. Looks like they need our help. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the river here has flooded. We've got to head upstream and help any creatures who may be in trouble. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, into the cafe. First, we have to rescue the river creatures that have been swept out to sea. Quasi, activate Fishback. <laughs> now let's take them back home. This river's flowing fast. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonaut, let's do this. Well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Hmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Ah! Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them! There they are. Don't let them get away. <laughs> We're under attack! Quick, everyone back to the car. No! Oh. Yeah! out there, Shellington. Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. Whatever it was that stung you, it was serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. Hurry. Oh. Oh. 
No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh, looks like we've got company. Quasi, you keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain! Oh! Oh! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase! They'll never find us now! Hmm, this time, Quasi, you look for the bag and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! <laughs> here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Clappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Wow! <laughs> Shiver me, whiskers! Peso's back! <laughs> Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. Ah, how do they keep finding us in the dark? We're trapped. Huh? Huh. We've got you right where we want. Now hand it over. Um, excuse me, and what over? Not going to cooperate, huh? All right, then. Get ready to feel the sting. Stop! Look. <laughs> our baby! Who's got your bill? <laughs> and your tail. A baby duck-faced monster? It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. Our egg must have rolled into the river during the flood. We were looking everywhere for it. We're very sorry, platypuses. We didn't know the egg was yours. We were going to try and find out where it came from, but then our friend Shellington, well... All oh, right, yeah. Sorry for the sting. I, I was just protecting my family and I got a little bit, uh, stingy. I completely understand, but I've got to find my medical bag so I can help Shellington. Aye, it's somewhere down in the muck. Perhaps I can make up for what I did to your mate and find that for you. I'll be right back. But how will he be able to find my bag in the dark? We platypuses don't mind the dark, because we swim with our eyes closed anyway. We find our way around underwater using our special bill. It tells us where things are. Aha! My medical bag! Thank you so much! Oh, thanks, Peso. It's feeling better already. Don't worry, the pain from my stinger should wear off soon. Sorry again, mate. And thanks for keeping our little ones safe. Oh, not to worry. It's not every day I get to meet a family of furry, web-footed, stinging, egg-laying, beaver-tailed, duck-billed platypi. Oh, ah, you're standing on my foot. Oops. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah! The last one to the cave is a rotten fish egg. Hey, wait for us, Quasi. Slow down. Shiver me, whiskers. 
sorry, mateys. I, I just can't wait to go monster hunting in these old mysterious caves. Not monster hunting, Quasi. Fossil hunting. Fossils? Oh, who wants to look for a bunch of boring old rocks? <laughs> well, I do. Fossils aren't just rocks, Quasi. They're made from the remains of creatures that lived long ago. See? Still looks like a bunch of old rocks to me. Thanks, Tunip. If we find any big fossils, we'll need you to bring in the work lights, okay? <laughs> Octonauts, let's find some fossils. <laughs> Finding anything. Fossil collecting takes patience. Just move any loose rock and check carefully. Flappity flippers. <gasps> Peso, you found a fossil. I did? Yes, and it's a very impressive one too. Tunip, better bring in the lights. Well done, well done. Let's see. Eight fins, thick scales, a tail with three parts. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! This is the fossil of a coelacanth! A waddy what what? A coelacanth! They lived 65 million years ago, back with the dinosaurs. But there aren't any around today. This fossil is an amazing discovery. In that case, we should remove it carefully and take it back to the octopod to study. Yeah. Who turned out the lights? But how did that come unplugged? There's no one in these caves but us. Is there? <gasps> the fossil! What happened to it? It appears our fossil has disappeared. <laughs> A tail with three parts, just like the fossil. Ah! Ah! Huh? What is it, Quasi? I know what happened to the fossil. You do? It came to life and swam away. Um. Uh, Quasi, fossils used to be living things, but now they're just rocks. They can't come to life. They can if the fossil is really a jumping jungle bones. Ch 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 jumping jangle bones. According to pirate tales passed down by me granddad, Calico Jack, jumping jangle bones are spooky fish that look like rocks. But they come to life and try to scare you away when you get too close to the places where they like to hide. Places like these sea caves. Hmm. I've never heard of a jumping jangle bones, but one thing's certain, something took that fossil, and we're going to find out what it was. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, something or someone has taken the coelacanth fossil we found in this cave. A coelacanth fossil? A very rare discovery. I do hope you're able to find it. Captain, I've been watching the cave and nothing else has gone in or out since you've been in there. Then the fossil and whatever took it are still in here with us. Keep an eye on the cave and let us know if anything comes out. Thanks, Dashy. Right, let's split up and search the cave. Everyone, pick a tunnel. Aye, and watch out for the jumping jangle bones. Right, you bony beast. I know you're in here somewhere. Ah I've got you now, you ghostly. Get back here. You can't outsmart me, you jumping. So, nothing to be afraid of. There's no such thing as jumping jangles. Hello? It's it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Wait! 
come back. We just wanted to ask you about... Shellington, I think it's heading your way. Thanks, Peso. Wait, tune in! Whatever took the fossil is heading this way. Everyone, keep your eyes open for anything that looks like... What was that? Barnacles to Octonauts. I think I hear something up ahead. I think I hear something too. So do I. Me too. It sounds like it's right around this corner. Oh! Uh, oh. Octonauts! Oh, so it was just you I heard. Yeah, and that's just my tail you're squishing. Oops, sorry, Quasi. Looks like it is only us in here. Aye, it's only us and him! Wait! This way! I think I see something. It's... it's... What? What? The fossil! The jumping jangle bones must have turned back into stone before we could catch it! But Quasi, jumping jangle bones aren't real! Oh, how else do you explain how the fossil moved in here by itself? Hmm, good question. It's still a mystery. <gasps> um, I'm starting to think you guys just don't believe my monstery um, tales. Um, what is it, Peso? The, the fossil! It's alive! The fossil's alive? <gasps> the fossil's alive! <gasps> <gasps> Sorry, everyone. My fault. I didn't mean to frighten no one. I wasn't frightened. Just uh, stretching my legs. I, you a jumping jungle bones? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just a coelacanth. But that's impossible. Coelacanths haven't been around since the dinosaurs. We are still around. We like to stay out of sight, though. Keep to ourselves. Fascinating. A real-life coelacanth. I can't believe my eyes. But why did you move that fossil? Oh, right. Sorry. It's just I'm kind of shy and I'm not used to visitors in my cave. I just thought that if I hid the fossil, you'd lose interest and leave. Well, unless we can get past these rocks, we're never going to be able to leave. Looks like we might need some backup. Barnacles to Dashy. Come in, Dashy. Ah, we must be too deep in the caves to make radio contact. No worries, mateys. We'll just dig ourselves out. We don't want any more rocks to fall. One, way! I've never seen such a big fish move like that. <laughs> it helps to have eight fins and a big tail. But doesn't that hurt? Oh, not at all. My scales are super tough, like armor. Hmm. Do you think you could swat away these rocks while we dig ourselves out? Ah, uh, I think I could manage that. Keep going, everyone. Just a little bit further. Yeah, he's amazing. Like an acrobat. That's why we could catch him. You mean that rock you thought was me? Right here! Catch! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help back there. And sorry again about disturbing your cave. <laughs> we didn't think anyone was home, let alone a real living coelacanth. Ah, don't worry about it. But next time, be careful who you call a fossil. <laughs> <laughs> There, matey. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, there you go. High five, because I'm still alive. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission here is complete. Dashy, prepare to launch the octopod. I'm on it, Captain. Captain. 
Captain, there's something wrong with the ship. It's... <laughs> Tweak, any idea what just happened? I've already found the problem, Cap. It's the bubble converter. It's broken, and the octopod can't take off without it. Can't you just make a new one, matey? I could, but that would take days. Or months. Months? It looks like we don't have days or months. We've got to do something now. There is one other bubble converter. Ah, you mean... Uh-huh. Uh, of course. The old octopod. The old octopod? What old octopod? Uh, did we not mention this is actually the second octopod? Uh, no, matey. I think I'd remember another octopod. Oh, well, then this here's the new octopod. But way back when, before we were even the octonauts, there was an old octopod. It never did work quite right. Well, we crashed it. But when we came back to fix it... It had become an artificial reef, home to hundreds of creatures. So we had to leave it where it was. The old octopod should still have a working bubble converter. Then there's no time to lose. To the GUP A. Dashie, keep an eye on the ship. We'll be back as soon as we can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everybody this way. <laughs> There it is. The old octopod. Shiver me whiskers. I much prefer the new one. Activate helmets. We're going in. The quickest way in is through the manual steering pod. But how are we going to get in, Captain? Ah, I know a little trick. Wow. It's just like home. Only not. Only very not. Only very, very not? This is not how I left these chairs. Tweak, we don't have much time. Uh, right. The bubble converter should be in here. It'll just take a minute, Cap. A fast! What was that? <gasps> I didn't see anything. But there was something. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. Or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Kip, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations! Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Uh, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange... Whatever you are! I'm in the game pod, mateys! Just a volleyball. Cut it out! Cut it out! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls! Who can throw eight balls at once? I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Ink? Huh? The barrels are back. But how? No, 
Now this is scary. A library with no books. Huh, we must have left one behind. Whoa! What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's got tentacles. And it can throw eight things at once. And it squirts ink. And it's orange. Hmm. Sounds like a giant Pacific octopus. I agree. My Pacific cousins are the largest species of octopus. And they often make their homes in old abandoned ships. <laughs> well, how about that? I modeled the octopod after the giant Pacific octopus. <laughs> now there's one living in it. Yeah, but why did it steal our converter? It was probably just curious. Giant Pacific octopuses are very clever, and they always investigate new things. Hmm. Then maybe we can give it something new to be curious about. This ought to get its attention. And then, when it comes to investigate, we'll get our converter. Everybody into position. Lights out. Look! It's huge! Shh! Just a little closer. Now! <laughs> Stay alert, everyone! It might make a swim for it! Yeah. It escaped! And it got the flashlight out of the jar! But where did it go? Easy now. We're not going to hurt you. Oof. Octonauts, search everywhere! Ah, no sign of the eight-armed scallywag! She has to be in here somewhere! Ink! Ah, oh, hello there! Stay back! Don't make me ink you again, you invaders! Invaders? Us? Yes, this is my home. I'd arranged everything just the way I like it, and I don't appreciate you barging in without permission and moving everything around. We're sorry. We only came for our bubble converter. This thing? It was in my home, so it's mine. Hmm. You are absolutely right. We didn't realize you were living here. Perhaps you'd be willing to trade it for something new. Huh? You have yourself a deal, young fellow. How about we shake on that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the new bubble converter did the trick. How's it feel, Cap? The octopod's running perfectly, Tweak. I'm just glad we're not running anymore. Look, we're passing the old octopod now. Hmm? Looks like you left the light on. <laughs> Everybody wave. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, well. See ya. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Mickey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>